Hey, this is Rick with Shooter 1721. Look what we got here. Something new at Shooter 1721 is the JTS Aracuda Max. So this is 25 cal, thumb hole stock here, adjustable cheek piece, rubber butt pad back here. This wood stock's pretty nice. And the price point, $420. There's a lot of air gun in my hands for 420 bucks. Uh, one thing we noticed in pre-testing was the accuracy is outstanding in this. And of course, you see we got the Element Optics 4 to 16 first focal plane on top, which is something that we're starting to use a lot more of because 16 power is just a nice scope to have on uh, a, a beginner gun like this. You know, it has plenty of power though too, and it is adjustable. So that's what you can do. And let's take a look here. You can see that you have your air gauge and you have your regulator. So you can see both your gauges right there. And then to fill this gun is all you really need to do is take that off there and that's a male foster right there. Put this back on, all right? And uh, you're set up and of course, you're ready for your Donnie. You wanna put your Donnie on there. You just, it's all threaded right there. You have your pick rail on top, side lever, 10 shot mag. Let's, here's something I wanna brag about a little bit with JTS. Their mag is completely metal. They did an outstanding job with this. I know I'll probably talk a little bit about this in this video, but watch this. You're able to take this. They made this, they grooved this just right. You, you put your pellet here and you take your thumb, just the, the pressure and look, it's in there perfectly. Got the arrow telling you which way to rotate and put those pellets in there. It's outstanding. JTS, you did, this is, this is definitely a win for an air gun that's at a price point of 420. That's, that's, other people should follow your lead on that. I'll, t I'll say that. And uh, uh, a couple other things. It's probably, I think it's weighing about 7 pounds and 18 inch barrel on here. 41 inches overall. You'll probably get about, with this guy, maybe 40 shots out of it. Because it's a 220 cc tube. Um. Uh, and that's, you know, that gives you, I think, 40 shots for that CC. That's pretty efficient. And this, I think we have shooting right around 900 feet a second. But that's enough talking. Let's get to the bench at 50 yards and see how this thing shoots. Okay, we're at the 50-yard mark with this guy. And uh, we've got some FX 25.39. And uh, let's shoot five shots and see how she does. You know, a price point of a regulated uh, 25 cal at $420. That's pretty good. Well, let's see how it shoots. Let's go with that. That's pretty outstanding. I don't know if you guys saw it. You see it back yeah. there on the scope? You saw three in the hole? Yeah. Am I right? Yep. Yeah. That's outstanding. That one uh, that we have to the right a little bit, I think that was the first shot coming off. And then the next four are just absolutely, this is a super accurate gun. <sighs> wow. For 400 bucks. I love the wood stock one here. You even have the adjustable cheek piece here. <clears throat> That's outstanding. Let's see what else we got, right? Okay, let's run a little chronograph test here. Well, I just want to shoot a couple shots across so you guys can see it. We did do the full shot string. Ryan will put that in here. And you can see the full shot string, which I did earlier in the week. But because of weather, we're, we don't want to get super soaked today. We're just going to shoot this here and uh, a couple shots just to show you where she's tuned at. And the accuracy that you saw at 50 is, let's see what we get here. Now I want to talk about that. So I'm looking at these numbers here and 
the weather when we did the chronograph test was probably 20 degrees different higher. And I think you, if I remember correctly, when I did chronograph it, it was in like 905, somewhere in the 900, 905. And you can see the difference here. And I'm finding that consistent with a lot of different guns. So just food for thought, something to think about. I don't need everybody being like, let's do this. Let's, you know, run this test and that test. I'm just telling you observations that we see because we see so many different air guns that come through here. And uh, that's interesting. It's only like 20, probably 23 degrees different, but you see the velocity went down. All right, let's see what else we got. Okay, let's do a little trigger pull and see factory, you know, the factory settings that we got here. So let's take a look at this here. Oh my, 14 ounces. That that's sweet. That's super super nice. All right, give that a try again. Yeah, 15 ounces. So there you go. I mean that came. That came set up right there at uh, 14, 15 ounces. That's the way we got it. Now you know at 50, you know, the accuracy that you saw, that trigger plays a big part of that. There's not much. You're not doing a whole lot right there, especially at 14 or 15 ounces. That's outstanding. One thing that, that I like about this also is... You have your threaded here for your suppressor. You're ready to go for your moderator. And they get one thing that I like is they they gave plenty of thread here. That was a nice thought there too. I, I was. It's one thing I like about this. For four hundred and twenty dollars, you get a lot of features here. But the accuracy is what's outstanding. All right, regulated Aracuda twenty-five cal. Let's get to some final thoughts. I keep mentioning the price point of 420 because a lot of people are like, well, you never said the price. Well, for $420, you got yourself a, lot, a regulated 25 cal PCP that has an excellent trigger, excellent mags. JTS, you guys did an outstanding job with your mags. These mags are metal, and we'll show them to you. They're just, I mean, super outstanding. I love the accuracy of this gun. I love the trigger of this gun. I even like this stock. So it's a lot of gun for your money. I definitely give it a thumbs up. That's one thing that, you know, I can't wait for Ryan. I think we got the 22 cal coming too. And we're going to review that also. So, and we're getting a non-regulated one because we want to show, I think that's even cheaper. That might even be 320. But, uh, and that has a wood stock too. But for the price... That's a lot of air gun, it's super accurate, and has plenty of power for hunting. This is Rick with Shooter1721. Thanks for watching.